what happens now uh, after the apparent death by suicide of Jeffrey Epstein, the 66-year-old uh, billionaire who palled around with some very powerful people? What happens now in an investigation uh, that looked like it was getting some promising results early on? The former House Oversight Committee chairman, former Republican South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy with us now. Congressman, what do you think? Where does this case go now? Well, the case against him is over, but uh, to the extent there are others who aided and abetted or had knowledge of these crimes and, and a duty to report and failed to do so, uh, if, if there is sufficient factual predicate, uh, they can still be charged. Uh, I am heartbroken only for the victims um, who were denied an opportunity to see um, their attacker in a very different position in court. Um, he's not in control. He's not in power. He's not calling the shots. He's in court in a jumpsuit and handcuffs. And for a lot of victims, that final image um, is, provides closure to the extent you can have it. So I'm sorry for them. Um, but he wasn't going to testify against others, I don't think. I certainly would not give him a cut in time to go um, uh, implicate people who may have been less culpable. Uh, that makes no sense in the criminal justice system. I will say this, Neil. Um, you can't get the death penalty uh, for anything other than taking another life. But most Americans think you ought to be able to get it for committing a sex assault on a child. The Supreme Court disagrees, but most Americans, if we were to have a hierarchy of crimes, crimes against children, including sexual crimes against children, would be right up there near the top of it. So I'm glad he's dead, but I'm sorry for the victims that they are denied an opportunity to see him in a different light. You know, he was on under this suicide watch, Congressman, a lot of people are still scratching their heads how he could, how he could have committed suicide in the first place, assuming he was under 24-7 surveillance, either in person or the uh, a security cam. Uh, how, how could that happen? Well, some of us are still scratching our heads at how Jack Ruby could shoot Lee Harvey Oswald. And I think You're that right. may have been at a You're police right. station, wasn't it? So... Uh, look, we're two hours in. I I'm a big believer in gathering the facts first, and then you can draw whatever conclusions you want from the facts. Uh, the videotape doesn't lie. It doesn't forget. So to the extent that there's video monitoring, talk to the guards. Um, people, um, particularly criminals, particularly high-end criminals, are very creative when it comes to either escaping, uh, taking their own life, um, that's how they've evaded capture that thus far, um, is they are creative. So yeah. I, I'm going to withhold judgment until I know exactly how it happened and who allowed it to happen. That's a great concept there, Congressman. Thank you very, very much. Yes, sir. Thank Trey you. Trey Gowdy.